What's up everybody? It's your boy Jake with Mind Something and today I got something pretty cool to share with you guys. Uh, if you would hit that like and subscribe for me and we'll get started. So let's take a look at profitability. Looking at what to mine today, 3090 Ti sitting at 275 in revenue before power, $1.91 after power, 3080 Ti's 252, 173. And as you can see, Ethereum is currently the most profitable thing to mine, followed by looks like Ravencoin, uh, maybe some Octopus. And we'll just kind of scroll down the list here so you can get an idea what the day's looking like. Got a little bit of a dip in the market today. Uh, we got the Fed news being released on Wednesday. We got earnings reports coming out for some of the major companies. And uh, yeah, I expect things to dip down a little bit lower in the short term. Uh, hopefully in the long term or medium to short term, we can see some pumps out of Ethereum prior to the merge. But uh, I wanted to take a look at a coin called Cero that you may have heard of. Uh, something prompted me today to investigate this coin a little bit further, and I'll share that with you guys towards the end of the video. But, uh, man, I went way down the rabbit hole today, read the white paper, just did as much research as I could on this project, and really found some very interesting things. Uh, so, in case you guys didn't know, um, Cero is a privacy coin, very similar to uh, Monero, Zcash. It mentions some of these things and the flaws that they have in comparison to what they've created. And I wanted to just kind of highlight some of the cool things that I took away after reading this white paper. Uh, First thing being, I did not realize it is capable of smart contracts. Um, so they take, took a play from Ethereum, they took a play from Monero, they took a play from Zcash, and kind of combined all of these things into one. Very, very interesting. I highly recommend you guys read through this. Um, just to give you... A, a couple of snippets from what I read here. Um, I'm going to scroll down here to conclusion. From the aspect of the latest technology, solution to ensuring privacy protection by the adaptation of the latest cryptographic algorithms, the non-interactive zero-knowledge proof mechanism shows the most promising improvement. The use of encryption mechanism requires significant changes to the underlying protocol and consumes more computing resources affecting the efficiency of the blockchain applications. Therefore, the usage of privacy protection mechanisms needs to consider the efficiency and cost of nodes and efficiency performance and cost of computing storage. In the decentralized application scheme, smart contracts widely increase the application scenario of blockchain the applications are no longer limited to the digital asset value of circulation. The current mainstream blockchain privacy protection technology does not support smart contracts, which prevents the greater establishment of practical usages. Any secure privacy protection mechanism for anonymity to support smart contracts must make major modifications to the underlying system of block blockchain the implementation will be difficult. So, you know, basically what you're looking at is a very, very substantial white paper. Uh, if you go through some of this, it is way beyond my comprehension. But what I was really trying to gather from reading this white paper was the tokenomics. Uh, what is the, the structure uh, the minor rewards, the issuance, the inflation, uh, the halving cycles, anything that would kind of indicate how this thing will change in the future. And I'm just going to summarize and, and tell you guys now, I couldn't find anything in the white paper that describes the tokenomics. You know, does, does the dev team get 10%? Do miners get another 10%? You know, what, what is the inflation rate? 
and I simply could not find any of that in here. So that, that's kind of a red flag for me. Um, and then as I got further down the rabbit hole, I started to notice a lot more red flags. Um, but before we skip to those, I wanted to show you something else that was kind of interesting, and that is how to issue your own privacy token on Cero. There are detailed instructions for setting up a full node wallet and creating your own coin on their chain which means this is a layer one and that that's pretty significant um, I read across this on a reddit post a month ago and it said is Cero being developed or is it abandoned and I just wanted to read you some of the comments that I noticed uh, it says, when Cero appeared on what to mine as a profitable coin to mine, I looked into it. It doesn't look good. I stopped mining it after I realized there are only a few exchanges that trade it, and if they aren't developing it, it could be dropped at any time. Uh, but we've got a response here. It's unlikely to be dropped either by Gate.io or Hotbit because it has stayed quite stable in comparison to most other currencies. There is demand for Cero because of its privacy coin functionality. The devs have gone silent. However, the dev created pools are still up and the GitHub software is still being updated every now and again. The problem with Cero right now is the disappearance of the devs and the lack of independent dev community getting involved and the limitations of the existing mining pools which are stealing 40% of the rewards yikes so yeah huge red flags there um there really isn't anything else that i could find that kind of touched on this subject of pools uh stealing from the rewards uh, if we go to Cero's official website uh looking at their let's see here i think their blog page looks like the last thing posted was April 26th of 2020 uh, if we look at the Twitter page here um, I think I saw something on November 18th of 2021 this just could be a retweet you know it just doesn't look good but there are still pools operating um, another red flag here is you've got 69 giga hash total and 51 giga hash is currently on one pool. Uh, definitely want to distribute that hash rate more evenly. Uh, that that could be disastrous. Um, but it, it's still available. Uh, it is still on gate gate.io. Um, and there are other pools out there other than what we can see on mining pool stats. But You've probably seen this coin jump up a time or two to, I don't know, maybe the top three, uh, sometimes the most profitable, depending on what GPU you have. Um, but going back to what to mine, and th here's my big reveal for today, guys. This, this is pretty interesting. So you'll notice that you don't see Cero in the top three profitable coins here on what to mine uh, we're at 10 cents per kilowatt hour um, I'm gonna take you over to the GPU page here and this is kinda similar to what my farm is now I threw a bunch of cards in there that I had to kinda kinda give you a mix of LHR or not necessarily LHR but 3080s 3070 TI's uh, some AMD cards and this is this is pretty close to what I'm rocking right now. I think I'm close to two giga hash, and I'm using at about 3,300 watts at the wall mining Ethereum. Now at the wall, that's probably closer to 4,000 watts. But at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, uh, it's currently showing Ethereum to be the most profitable coin at 36.77 before power and 26.66 after power. Now, if you keep scrolling here, you'll find Cero coming in at $24.31 before power and $14.90 after power. Now, 
the reason I'm bringing this up today is because of this post on Reddit. Cero, the hidden number one most profitable coin to mine. WTF, Cero is the hidden number one most profitable coin to mine right now. My brain blew up while looking at it. There is a pool owned by just one guy for Cero with 0% fees, which makes Cero 50% more profitable than ETH. You can see for yourself. So he posts a link to the pool. And as you can see, we have a legit pool here. But going back to this post here, uh, I replied and said, very interesting. But how do you change the default percentage for the other pages on the site? I can only change it on the coin page, but not the GPU page. So what I meant by that here is if you go specifically to coins, we scroll down to Cero. What you're going to notice here is under fees, we have 45%. Guys, what is going on with what to mine? Now, I'm not putting my tinfoil hat on. I'm not saying there's something nefarious, maybe just an oversight. But 45% is incorrect. If you go back and look at the pools, there's a 2% fee on the first two, 0% on the third, and I don't see a pool fee here on this last one. But, you know, if, if this guy's got 0% on his pool. Let's change these numbers here. Let's say we got a 2% fee. So currently, before I change this, let's take a look at this. We are looking at a hash rate of 23.7, power at 420. Well, we can't go off of those numbers. Let's take a look at my farm specifically. And if we look at ProgPal, we've got 399 mega hash at 3,900 watts. So let's go back here and remember those numbers. We'll just say 604,000, make it easy. So, Cero, where are you? There we go. So we're going to change this to 600. And 5,000, excuse me, 4,000. And let's not forget to change our pool fee to 2%. Actually, no, let's leave it like it was, 45%. Let's hit calculate. So we're looking at $24.31 in revenue, $14.71 profit after power and pool fees. But let's fix that pool fee. Let's say 2%. Let's recalculate. What do you know? $43.32 a day in revenue and $33.72 after power. What is going on? I mean, considering what we were at with Ethereum, I want to say we were... Uh, let's just go look. We'll go back to GPUs, and it's telling us thirty-six dollars and seventy-two cents and twenty-six sixty-two. Guys, that that's a dramatic difference. Now you may be wondering, well, if I can't offload the coin or exchange it for something else, uh, what's what's the point? So going back to gate.io, gate uh, if you use this, you, you can convert it to whatever you like, whether that's Ethereum or Bitcoin or what have you. But looking at this, that, that's a significant difference. And, you know, considering all of the red flags, um, me personally, th this is not something that I'm going to hold long term. However... 
let me add a small caveat to that. If all of the dev team is silent, is it a dead project? Maybe. But consider this. One of the reasons that Bitcoin is top dog is because there is no central party to point your fingers at. And that's the whole purpose of decentralization. Is this dev team incognito intentionally? Has everything been laid out there for us to run with? I don't know. But if you're looking for the most profitable coin right now, it's not Ethereum. It is Zero. And uh, yeah, maybe something you guys want to check out. If you like helpful information, a, a different take from the norm, from all of the other content providers, please give me a like and subscribe. It could really help. Uh, this is a new channel, and I would very much appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good one.